Photographer Terry Evans has an obsession with the prairie. It's been her principal subject for three decades. She's photographed prairie in its natural state and after it's been touched by development. Terry is a native of Kansas City, but makes her home today in Chicago. Her work is included in the permanent collections of the Art Institute of Chicago, the Museum of Modern Art in New York, and the Baltimore Museum of Art. Terry's prairie scrolls are being shown at the Environmental Law and Policy Center. She talked with us recently about her work. I started my work at this time back in 1968 and uh, Bobby Kennedy had come to the University of Kansas where I was studying art and uh, I borrowed a camera from my father who was a professional photographer and who influenced me hugely. I borrowed a camera from him and, and was allowed to be down on the floor with all the press photographers and all the TV people and, and I looked like I knew what I was doing even though I didn't and I accidentally got some good pictures of Bobby Kennedy and um, and that and that was just um, that was a way to realize that a camera would take me into situations that were interesting and exciting that I didn't know about and that I wanted to know about and so that's how I got started I was I thought I was going to be a painter and um, <clears throat> But I always loved the interface that photography gave me um, between the world and, and my own eye. And so, um, so I have always explored subjects. And it wasn't until maybe 10 years later that I started exploring um, landscape subjects. And that's when I was introduced to the prairie ecosystem by my friend Wes Jackson of the Land Institute in Salina, Kansas, where I lived. And I started um, really seeing the prairie back in, um, it must have been in about 1978, and the prairie then um, has been my primary subject and obsession and passion since then, and has led me in, in many different directions. So my pictures of the prairie and really of everything else, um, I'm always on the side of the prairie. I'm always feeling like that's the story I want to tell um, and I want people to uh, look at the work and understand the beauty and understand the value of, um, of saving the prairie and, and also begin to think of other questions that looking at land raises for us about land use and energy. There, but the work that is in the the exhibition at the Environmental Law and Policy Center stems from the very earliest work I did about prairie. And um, that was um, black and white work looking at the patterns and, and relationships on the ground of the grasses. And I worked on that starting in 1978 for a couple of years and then didn't return to it until um, 2007. And, um, when I knew I was going to have this show at ELPC, I went back to those earliest negatives, which I had wanted to explore. I'd wanted to explore these negatives for years, but I, I had never, other things had always come up. And I had um, about 4,000 negatives of uh, looking at the, at the prairie ground. And so I started putting them together and making these sorts of scrolls that, um, that now make up that exhibition. And I added in, in this recent work, pictures of my friends on the prairie and, and my family and made them be part of the scroll because they were part of my experience there. But I never would have included those pictures in the earlier work and I was printing them only singly and so this uh, becomes more uh, this work becomes more like a walk through the prairie. One of the reasons that the prairie has been so um, such a passion for me is that it's um, it's so hard to read in a way. It's not it's not grand and dramatic like um, like the mountains or like the ocean. You know, it's 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 the ground, and it's um, it's so rich and there's such um, an infinite diversity and pattern of 
of uh, interweaving grasses and uh, other forbs, and and yet um, you could drive right by a native prairie and not even look twice. You have to go in and spend time looking and look closely. And then it's so rare now. You know, we've destroyed most of the prairie to make it into farmland. Um, there's so little uh, virgin prairie left. Because when I started um, photographing the prairie, I was looking at these patterns on the ground and, and I was thinking about um, the structure of the prairie and how, you know, looking down and I was looking at about waist level and seeing these, these patterns within this square format I was using, which made me wonder um, what the ground would look like from above, from a much higher perspective. Would it still show the same forms? And so, uh, so I started doing some aerial work then to see, you know, what, what was the difference? Would it be as above, so below? And, and, and it was. I found the same kinds of um, beautiful sort of subtle um, feminine looking forms. It always seemed to me the earliest aerial work I did about the prairie seemed to remind me of, the, of a woman's body. Oh, yeah. The Revealing Chicago Project was organized by the Open Lands Project. Jerry Edelman is the director of Open Lands and he invited me to do this project that would be about Chicago, inspired by the Earth from Above exhibition, which had been in um, the early part of Millennium Park some years ago. Well, the and then Revealing Chicago turned out to be a much bigger project than we had ever dreamed. And so, in the end, it consisted of uh, about a hundred large photographs that were displayed outside in Millennium Park in the summer of '05. The f photography was really about showing. Um, the uh, the whole Chicago region, uh, particularly the seven county area, and showing um, we were interested in how the um, the lines of division are all arbitrary and political, and we wanted to show how it was one interconnected place. and And when you see Chicago from above, it's um, you know, it has this very uh, this feeling of being quite small and interconnected, and 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 it looks so beautiful. Um, you really wonder how we could have any disagreements at all if we all realized that we all we all sort of belong to this place together.